Hey everyone, Prostify10 here, and just doing a quick uh, Modern Warfare 2 beta review of the game mode Invasion. Uh, two different teams, 20 people in each, plus I think it's t 20 bots or less than that on each team. Uh, max plays 40, large maps. Uh, we played on the two, two maps, I think we had, or three. Two of them are pretty similar. Uh, it's the description is this is war, massive and chaotic battle with a mix of players and AI fighting alongside each other and against each team. So, is it any good? It's alright. It's different. So, it's a different take on your typical ground war. The only mode though is it is elimination. So, it's just hardcore, t it's just team deathmatch with AI. So, you kill an AI, you get one point, you kill a real. Person, you get five points, and it's first to a thousand. Um, sometimes the AI are hard to tell apart from the real people, and then other times it's really obvious the difference. Uh, the AI can be not intelligent. Yeah, that's really it. They're, they're kind of stupid. So they they tend to walk similar patterns, and they're not incredibly... They're not hard to deal with until uh, midway through the match or three quarters through the match, they get dropped down with bigger armor. So they get more armor and they take longer to kill. So, <coughs> but then again, you're still shooting them in the head anyway. They're just parachuting down. And as they parachute down, they don't shoot. They just sort of, they take a second to, to land, to settle, and then go on their merry way. So they could be more dynamic. Or I think you could fix the mode a little bit, just tweak it the ability to give them orders. If you, the players could give the AI orders, I think they would become very effective. You, you just chuck them in buildings. Chuck them in the buildings, have them look through the windows, problem solved. They're a pain in the ass. Snipers get something to snipe at. Although they're still fun to snipe anyway. I mean, you're still killing them. You're still It's still Call of Duty. You're still shooting people. Good fun. It's just that sometimes they can sort of, you know, gather in bunches. Which can be cool, because there's like, you know, nine of them charging through the middle of the map. But it's sort of stupid at the same time. So what the, the general strategy is get in one of the armored vehicles, drive around the map, and you can run over people. You can get plenty of kills that way. And the guy on the turret can get plenty of kills too, because the turret's very, turret's very powerful. But, um, yeah, apart from that, you get plenty of kills... Although it doesn't split them up at the end, so you'll have like, say you have 70 points, you won't, you'll have to remember how many AI you killed and how many actual people you killed, so it would be nicer if it split up, so you knew how many AI you killed, you just have to remember. But, um, I think there's something there, something there. If we had different game modes, I'd like to see it as domination. But then I don't know how the AI would work because they would have to, they'd probably pull on the, you know, A, B and C. They'd probably all sit on B and then they take B and then they all sit on A. <laughs> you know, they would probably move around in like a big circle. So it's, I think it's an interesting concept. Something that they could have done in say Battlefield 2042. Just to add some more flesh. But they're not, they don't communicate in the beta. A whole lot at all. So if they spoke, it'd be nice. If anything, I'd like to be able to customize what they look like. That'd be really good. But, you know, of course they won't let us do that. But it should be... Because you can do some really fun stuff. I mean, you could do some limited time modes where they're all dressed up as something unique. So it's obvious they're the AI. Because sometimes it sort of blends in when all your dudes are running around. You don't know. And it does say on your map they are circles. And the players are triangles. But I'm not always looking at the map, so kind of one of those things if they're uh, enemy icon is it circles when you do an advanced uav i haven't seen any advanced uav being used everyone just uses typical kill streaks and obliterates them so the mode itself kill streaks dominate the second half as players rack up the kills the snipers usually those who camp get plenty of kills or if you're active and you kill plenty of ai that helps a lot those who rack up kill streaks get the big kill streaks they kill lots of AI, lots of players, and it's hard. I had a couple of close games, but most of them were, you know, 300 points. So one's a thousand, one's 700. 
I've rambled. Rambled for too long. So that'll do. Invasion game mode. Uh, Call of Duty beta. So I imagine they'll do different variations, not just um, team deathmatch. They'll probably do domination. Or maybe just hard point. And then you have the AI just do whatever the heck they want. And you don't really worry about them being in the right spot. Because I think that's probably the better, more natural way to approach it is you let them just wander around. Uh, for a newbie player, I think it'd be good. Because you'll get kills, and you won't feel the skill thing too much until the snipers are in good positions, and then there is that. But sniping's more enjoyable when there's more targets to shoot, and even if they're silly, even if they just stand there after they've parachuted down, it's still good fun to shoot people. That's what the core of the game is. All right, so that's, that'll do. Uh, invasion. I like it. Played for an hour and 20 minutes straight. Yeah. Not a worry. A good innovation... <coughs> with room to do even more with. Once you get started down the bot train, do all sorts of stuff. Okay, I hope you enjoy it, and I wonder how it'll change in the full release. This has been Frostify 10. Like and subscribe. Maybe I'll talk about it. Yeah, I'll do all the, the modes. Why not? Why not? All right, see ya.